Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. Today we are going ice fishing again. And as you can see, I'm here in the lower mainland and it is pouring rain outside. I'm just heading down the uh, Trans Canada up towards Hope and then we'll head up to Coquihalla. Hopefully, it isn't too snowy today so I don't have to go too slow. I got a late start so I left home around just after 11. Probably get to the lake around 2 p.m. right when the bite should be going off and uh, I think I'm gonna hit a small brook trout lake since I don't have much time just want to hit the lake easy to search and uh, let's go get them stick around should be fun check it out we got snow Falling down. Nice little stream down there. Keep on going. We've arrived to the lake and look at this, someone's left a little warning here. Attention, thin ice, December 3rd, 2023. But look at this, no snow. I was able to drive right down to the lake, park right by the ice and to me, seems like lots of ice. So you don't have to listen to signs like that, but you should always be careful in traveling on ice early in the ice season. Let's get out there and do it because uh, I'm anxious to get fishing. This snow just started, so hopefully fish are going to be biting. There isn't a whole lot of tracks out there, so I'll just drill holes as I go and see how the ice depth stays. But I just took a few steps out here, jumped around, and this is way more ice than I was out on November 17th. So I'm pretty confident. There's always thin spots, you know, so you got to be careful when you're traveling on ice and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Ice safety, remember? It's really warm. It's only like minus two. No wind at all. Beautiful day to be out. Trying to catch some fish through the ice. I got all the baits, night crawlers, mealworms, shrimp. We'll try it all. Okay, there's approximately like six to seven inches of good hard ice. Whoever wrote that sign four or five days ago doesn't know what thin ice is. I mean, if you want to drive a truck out here, it's maybe a bad idea, but way over four inches. Like, trust me, two inches I walk on, I don't recommend it, but if you're comfortable, you can do it. Four inches, by all means, clear, hard, safe ice. And we're talking like as more than I can grab. So like six inches of ice, probably. We're in good shape, let's go get them. Look at that. Look how much ice you got there. I'm really hoping this snowstorm brings on a bite. It's really moved in here this evening. Let's see what time it is. I left home at 11, 2.30 now. So it should be perfect timing for a bite to come on. We'll fish right into the dark. I have a light and hopefully catch some big brookies here. I know that they have some in this lake. Fighting the minnows is one problem, but we'll see. I'll use bigger presentations and try to fend off the minnows and give the brookies a chance to bite. Guys ask me what pound test I use for trout. I usually use four to six pound, but I find four pound, they sometimes break off on those bigger ones. Usually six pound fluorocarbon leader. 
or six pound ice line will do well. I know some guys use a lot heavier than that, but it's not really needed. Uh, you can even land big fish, 10 pound fish on six pound line. Just take your time. And I think they do see the line and sometimes they're a little finicky. So using that lighter line, if six pounds not working and they're real finicky, drop it down to four pound fluorocarbon and hope that helps you. Always check your drag. Got a brook trout. Look at that nice brookie. This is a lake that has a lot of these red sided shiners. So if you use a lure that looks like a shiner, you're more likely to be able to catch some of them. Oh, I got a nice one. Oh, that's a big one. Look at that. You can see how they inhale that spoon. Beautiful brookie right there. getting later so we'll keep that one or chomping that slender spoon there we go another brookie lights getting a little low and uh Using this light, it's working. They're still coming through. Check that out, in the dark. Got this beautiful brookie, he came in. I was just gonna pack up. Thought I'd drop the hook down and just leave it in there for a bit. And bam, he came in and grabbed it. Well, now I'm one away from catching my limit. So maybe I'll stay, try a little bit more. That was fun. Look at that nice big brookie. Beautiful coloration on them. Well, the fish stopped coming around. So I think it's time to go. Getting a little cold out here. Not really dressed since I just came out for a couple hours and thought, see what would happen. Turned out to be really good. The brook trout came in right around sunset, just like they're supposed to, hitting the little slender spoon. And it seems like they are chasing those minnows. So I think that's what they're eating in this lake. So if you have a minnow imitation, seems like it works. Well, I'm all packed up, ready to go. I don't usually stay this late. I didn't get out here till late, so thought I'd give it a try and it worked out. I got a big one. That large one I got was, uh, 20 and a quarter inches long. That was a good pull. Not much else happened after dark but that one fish came through and inhaled that spoon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you later. God bless. Go catch a big one.